just in time for the Super Bowl or any time you would like buffalo boneless wings. All right, so let me go ahead and get started. I want to walk you through what I'm going to do here. We are going to make some fabulous buffalo sauce, and I really like Frank's Red Hot Sauce. This is my absolute go-to hot sauce. I know a lot of people really like Tabasco sauce, um, but all that's in the sauce is Frank's Red Hot Sauce and butter. It's very, very easy. So I'm actually going to go ahead and get a pot, and I'm just going to put this on simmer, and we're going to forget about this while we go ahead and do our wings. I'm going to drop this in, put it on simmer, and we will be done with that. All right, and so I have a panel of people down below here that often help me cook and can often correct me. So if you want to give away, well, two of them can't because they're camera shy today. So Denise Ertzman, my good friend from college, who has a couple of websites. Um, you have a textile website, right, Denise? TextileGeek.com. And she also has another website, which is there we go. There we go. And we also have oops, Geek Fair. Geek Fair, which is a fabulous food set. So we also have Jolene Sugar Baylor Baker, botched her name, I'm sorry, uh, who's the trailer park queen. Fabulous videos on YouTube. And who else do we have? We have Melissa. Who has been following me along on Copycat, and we have also been on a mailing list for, I don't know how long you've been on that mailing list, Melissa, but I think I've been on it for 20 years. Okay, you got me beat. I think I'm about 11. Okay, so I've been on it for about 20 years, um, a really long time. And How did I access the internet for a long time? Secret government program, or I was in college. It's one of those two answers. It's probably I was in college. Um, all right, so we are going to make these fabulous buffalo boneless wings. And I'm going to take you to the camera that uh, is a little bit closer. Now, I am going to make a nice little um, breading that we're going to stick in these. And then I'm also going to, before I bread them, I'm going to use a the breading method that you've probably used before, it's where you put them in a seasoned flour, a liquid, and then back into a seasoned flour. So for this liquid here, I have about a cup of milk, and I'm going to add about a cup of water or so. This helps make a really nice breading on just about anything. This works well for onion rings. It works well for many, many things. So let me grab a fork because apparently I am unprepared this morning. All right, and we have another person, Jennifer, who shouldn't be here today. Jennifer, who is a fabulous pastry chef. Hello. Hello. Aren't you supposed to be going to the beach? Tomorrow. Tomorrow. I just thought I'd stop in real fast. Okay. Well, welcome. Thanks. All right. So we are going to make our seasoned flour for our boneless buffalo wings. I have about two and a quarter cups of flour here, and then I'm going to add a little bit of cornstarch. I like to add a couple of different starches because it helps make things a little bit more brown and adds a little character. So I like to do that. We're going to add some salt, some cumin, some chili powder, some paprika, some seasoned salt. I know I already added salt and a little bit of black pepper. So this would be great if you wanted to do the boneless buffalo chicken bites, or this would even also be good to do a whole chicken breast as well. So we're going to give this a quick little stir. All right. 
So I have my oil heating. I um, I'm using a grand pappy fryer. Can I move it over without unplugging? Right here. These things are fantastic to fry in because um, they bring everything up to a nice temperature. And apparently you can also wash the electric cord and it still works. So I highly recommend the brand on that alone. And it's getting hot. So is anybody making stuff to niche? You're not watching the Super Bowl. Jennifer's not watching the Super Bowl. Anybody else making anything or having a Super Bowl celebration? I'm cooking through the weekend, of course, but not anything Super Bowl focused, I guess. I think tomorrow I'm going to make a brief brisket. Oh, that sounds good. Are you going to make it in the oven? I am. You are, because it's, what, 12 degrees at your place right now? Um, yes. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's 21 today, I'll have you know. <laughs> okay, okay, 10, 10 degrees more. So you can almost wear shorts, right? Oh, right, yeah, that's funny. Well, I thought in Michigan when I lived up there that people would wear shorts at about 40 degrees. No, we don't. <laughs> Well, they didn't know Claire. You're on the list. <laughs> All right. So my grease should be getting hot. I have my buffalo sauce. You can see I just have it on simmer. I'm just show you. Like that. I might trim it up just a little bit more. Okay, and let's see if I can remember how to do this. You know, sadly in college, I battered more onion rings than fried chicken. It's kind of a sad story. I don't really eat fried chicken anymore because um, I put myself through college um, frying vast quantities of chicken. I, I worked at this crazy little store in this very small town that, um, yeah, that we, uh, I probably fried, I don't know, 50 to 100 pounds of chicken each and every day. So. I don't really eat fried chicken anymore because I just can't handle it. You, you OD'd on fried chicken? I mostly OD'd on cleaning chicken <laughs> and then frying it. Yeah. Okay. So I'm going to pop these into my fryer here and we're going to cook these, I don't know, for about five or six minutes until they float. That's how you often know things are done in a fryer. So, so who loves buffalo wings themselves? Right, does everybody like the buffalo wings? I do. And especially the boneless ones you're making. The boneless ones. Mm -hmm. And they, I don't know if you can hear my cats. Apparently, they are giving me cooking tips right now. I'm not certain what they involve, but. They have some strong opinions, too. They Sounds do, like and they're far from me. They are actually quite far from me. So I think everybody here has cats. Isn't that interesting? That's nice. I like that. We cat people got to stick together. That's Apparently. Nice. I got one blocking me right now. I'm glad my camera's off. <laughs> So when you're doing your breading process, you're actually breading with flour, then going to your liquid, then back to your flour? That's right. That's right. That helps uh, really get that nice coating on there. Okay. I really like, like, buffalo wings like Hooters because they have that nice breading on there. You know, whenever you add flour and grease to something, you've automatically made it taste better, right? Yes, absolutely. I do like Hooters better as well. 
I like that tail. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I really, yeah, I like the computer that's great by pickles. They have a lot of really, really tasty things. Yeah, that's Do you guys like super hot hot wings or are you kind of like a medium heat kind of people? If they're going to be super hot, I want to make sure there's plenty of blue cheese dressing to cut it. I like both. Just depends on you know what you're doing. I'm not a fan of like the atomic hot ones, the atomic blazing hot ones, because you know those, I think those are just too much. I understand. I've seen some pretty crazy shows on either the Food Network, I think, where people eat hot wings that are ridiculously hot. I'm not sure. Oh, yeah, well, it's like habanero or those spot bonnets or something. It's like, right. Ooh. Ghost chilies. <laughs> All right. Your buffalo sauce is uh, it's hot. Great. Excuse the take just a couple more minutes. Uh, nobody likes underdone chicken. Rare chicken is uh, it's not popular with anyone. You can't even market that as a delicacy, can you? That's just not good. No, no. The uh, no, but amazingly beef you can market, right? Little beef. Uh, beef carpaccio. Beef carpaccio, yeah. Mm -hmm. And they charge more, and they don't even cook it, right? That's right. Steak tartare. Okay, these are looking just about done. This is a really nice seasoned um, batter here with everything in there. We've got cayenne pepper. We have cumin. Um, a little bit of everything, actually. You can see them in the messy cook. So this is why I like to do the uh, dry, wet, dry method in battering. Because you can see you get a really nice, crispy, almost like a shaggy texture there. So um, I love to do it this way. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and put the other chicken in, and then we'll talk about what we need to do with these. Now, also, ideally, um, whenever I've battered stuff in the past, um, I really like to fry my fingers, and um, I really like to let this sit and dry for a little bit and get that crust on a little bit thicker. So... All right, let's put these in here. So, hello! You're muted, my friend. So, I am. Hello. How are you? Good. How are you doing? You're muted, my friend. Mm -mm, no. <laughs> you were. How are you? Yeah, how are you doing? You're muted, my friend. Mm -mm, no. You were. How are you? Yeah, some how are you some kind of crazy sound loop is happening. That is really weird. Oh, well, that was David Lee. 
All right, so we have fabulous buffalo boneless that's all nice and fried here. So what are we going to do with these? We are going to, we need to put sauce on them. Right, so we can kind of stir these around. Here we go, here's some lovely buffalo boneless chicken bites. I'm going to try one. It's really good. And hot. They look, they look great. I don't know, it's good. Um, Stephanie, David was commenting out on the event page and he just wanted to make sure that I saw what he had been saying. Um, so he's all excited. He's looking forward to a halftime celebration and he likes to go milder with his wings. Yeah, I don't like wings that are too, too hot. That's fantastic. Thank you for dropping by, David. And I think that uh, there is another show coming up soon, right? Jennifer, do you know who's the uh, Super Bowl show that's coming up next? Let me go check the event page and see what's happening. I know Gareth posted the whole lineup for today. Um, Gareth will be making bacon caramel corn at 1 p.m. Eastern Standard. I'm pretty excited about that one. You see um, Ronnie Bincer and his wife are going to be doing chocolate-covered peanut butter footballs at 2 p.m. Eastern. Um, let's see. Tomorrow on Sunday, Larry is um, doing his learning how to cook Caribbean. Um, Larry Fernilier. Is Larry uh, actually cooking himself on Sunday? I am not sure. So Larry um, has the best thing going. Let me tell you what he does. He sends the recipe to someone else, and he coaches them along while they cook his recipe. Isn't that awesome? That I think that is totally awesome. Alrighty, so I'm just going to finish up these buffalo bites right here. Now, like in many restaurants, they actually like put these in a bowl and toss them, but um, I can have a bowl, a clean bowl. But here you go, some more buffalo chicken bites. Yum. 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 All right, so you should serve these up with ranch, blue cheese dressing. <laughs> you didn't see me do that. Um, what else? Celery, carrots, a little bit of everything. So thank you for watching this live cooking event, and be sure to search out the hashtag today, Super Bowl, what, Jennifer, help me? Super Bowl Plus. Super Bowl Plus, so you can see more great recipes from other people here on G Plus. Thanks.